Hello everybody and welcome to Dragon Speed Shop and a new series. In this series I'm going to teach you how to build a custom frame for any of your projects you're working on. Uh, let's talk about tools on what you're going to need to do this. First thing is some graph paper. You'll need a pencil, a square, you'll also need the rails, your frame rails for the kit, or in this case if it's a Mustang or something that's a unibody, the actual like floor pan that has all your transmission mounts, everything like that. Um, you'll also need the body of the vehicle. In this project, we're going to be working on a 53 Corvette. So, let's get started. We're going to need a couple of marks transferred here from the stock frame before we start making our new frame. Um, the first marks that we're going to take, we're going to put some pressure so this doesn't move on us. The first mark that we need is the center tire or center axle of your front and rear suspension. So we'll take that mark and we'll take a mark there. Before we move this, I want to know roughly where the stock part of this frame is. So we're going to outline this frame. So I know where all these marks from the stock frame live. I also want to know the inside diameter. So I'm going to take all these marks basically trace the frame down in this case I'm going to be using the stock front suspension again so I want to know where that lives so what we're going to do is just kind of trace the outline of the stock suspension just so I roughly know where it lives. The other mark I want to know is actually where these posts end. So they run about there, about there, about there. Sorry if my hands are in the way. And I also want to know this front part of this frame. Knowing this mark and this mark, that gives me my dimension on how long the frame is. And knowing it here, lets me know how wide the frame is. So once we know that, next marks that we're going to need is we're going to transfer some of these marks. So we're going to do blue as the center line of the axles. So we're going to mark those out. And we're going to mark this out. Now I know where the center part of each axle lives. So when I start building the frame and the suspension everything, I can make sure everything lines up. The other marks that I would like to know, we'll highlight in red for sure, is the width of this frame. We know that frame runs from here all the way to there. Same thing on this side. We're going to run a mark 
running down. And we're also going to mark the back part of this stock frame and the front part of this frame. <clears throat> Alright. The next thing we need to do is we need to kind of pre-assemble this um, body. Luckily I've got a convertible and I can make sure that I can center this frame or this body over my drawing. So from here there's a couple of marks that I need to know. I need to know how wide the body is. So we're going to take And trace this and I also want to know where the wheel wells are um, where they start and where they end so we're gonna make if I had to actually center this body so I know my wheel well this side of the wheel well is there. This side of the wheel well is there. Same thing here and here. That tells me how wide my wheel wells are. So we'll take those. And we'll run those across. This is basically becoming a jig to build your new frame off of. And I forgot this mark over here. Okay. So again in red, we're going to highlight this body line so we know where it lives. And I'm crooked, but that's alright. Okay, so we got our basic marks on what we need to start with. Again to recap, the red square is kind of the basic box that the frame makes. Red lines on the outside are the width of the body. So we know when we start making a custom frame we stay within those dimensions. Um, when it times to come laying out suspension, C-notching the frame, anything like that we know where the center of the axle should live and stuff like that so this gives us our base to actually starting the frame and everything like that so that's the marks everything you need to know <clears throat> excuse me on laying out and starting a custom frame next video series we'll actually start fabricating and building the custom frame and talking about the materials then so thank you guys for tuning in until next time guys this is dragon speed shop and i'm out of here